Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We often get asked if we only create items for large corporate companies, theatres, movies or exhibition events, and our response is always the same. We create sculpture for wherever and whatever a person needs it to be. Whether that's something personal to adorn a mantelpiece, to something to your back garden, a small business lobby, or something on top of your company car, anything all the way up to a red carpet event or a theme park, we can create it for you. In this instance, we've been contacted by Layla from the Gardens Daycare and Nursery in South West London. Her team are looking for an enchanted tree sculpture to be placed outside on their rooftop as part of the children's new outdoor play area. Now make no mistake, this isn't just a one-off special item for them, as their daycare is already a wonder to walk through, with various playrooms, craft areas, practically an aquarium in their lobby, and this is just an additional space for when the weather picks up and the children can enjoy the outdoors in a safe environment. For this project, Jess has taken the reins and begins by blocking out from polystyrene with the bulk shape being cut using a hot wire. The client has a few specific requests that this look like a fairy inhabited tree with little alcoves and glowing windows just to really create that magic far away style theme. So this is exactly what we'll do for them. It's always nice having a project where we have a bit of free reign, as it means we can be creative, as we're not needing to conform to something specific or an exact reference. This also means it's a nice surprise for the client at the end of the day, as although they've commissioned the job, they don't always know exactly what they're getting until they see it. After nail and wire brushes have been used to hand carve the shape, and our PU expanding foam is used to adhere everything together, the surface is then sanded down to help lose that rough polystyrene bead texture. Then it's on with our secretly sourced sticky back tin foil to provide a protective barrier between the foam and the resin that's going on top. Here we have Ruth, who after luckily scoring a couple of weeks work experience with us, is now back for more work, and she's burnishing the foil onto the poly, and needs to cover every square inch so the resin doesn't burn through. So no pressure Ruth, but if it all goes tits up, it's your fault! This job doesn't require a mould, as there's only going to be one, it doesn't need a car body surface at the end, and it's not absolutely crucial that the whole form is hollow. Plus, this would be a lengthy and tricky process, what with all the branches that need moulding, and an unnecessary cost for the client. We're going on with a blanket coat of glass fibre, and we'll work up the surface to a good finish. Here we're beginning to work up the surface by first coming on with a flow coat of resin. This will help lose that fibrous texture of the glass fibre mat and can be sanded back for a smoother end result. Obviously a tree is normally rough with a bark texture which we're more than capable of replicating but remember that this is going to be in a daycare where there are always going to be wandering hands so we need to keep this relatively smooth to save any children from hurting themselves. Here you can see how the sculpture will break down for transportation. To save money for the client once again, we've designed this so that we only need our company van to deliver as we come up for the day to install it. This saves on any additional external van hire or transportation cost as we'll be driving the van up anyway. It also needs to be broken down so that we can actually manage it when it gets to site as we're told that we've got to get it up on the roof before we can manoeuvre it across the building to get it to location. So we'll deal with that when we get there, the joys of working on site. In the meantime, we've got to work on making sure the branches fit perfectly when raised into position and all the little windows and electrics work so the tree can be lit up from the inside. We're using festive style fairy lights which we thought were quite appropriate and are suitable to be used outdoors. We're also painting the tree so that it retains a certain childlike storybook quality and hopefully this will fit in perfectly with the rest of their theming. Here we are, this is a, a lovely tree which uh, Sculpture Studios and Jessica has made. Woo. Well done Jess, Woo. very fantasy, um, what do you call it? 
organic? No, no. Yeah, it's fantasy. Enchanted, that's the word I'm looking for, enchanted. Got lovely little lights that flicker on and off. You've got a little owl up the top and a nest with eggs. Yeah, it's very, really, really good. Home sweet home. That looks special. Oh, we skipped a process there, didn't we? That's because we've got other jobs going on that we needed the camera for. We're using fireproof foliage to install into the tree, and this just completes that overhead canopy. On to site now, getting up bright and early in the morning, some of us against our will, and heading down to southwest London. So here we are, Jess, at Gardens Daycare a nursery school. So the next door neighbours to the daycare have kindly allowed us access down the side of their building so we can get all the pieces up on the roof. To be honest, if we didn't have this access, I don't actually know how it would have all got up there, so luckily the daycare could ask them in advance. So we got it through this gateway, as opposed to having to get it over the fence. And this is where it... Oh, there's a Della in there. Everything needs to be strong and secure so the wind can't blow this over, or a horde of children can't pull it down. So we're fixing this to the two back fences. We're also securing the top of the tree to a tall post located in the very back corner, so this will be nice and stable. Jess is able to fit in behind the tree so that we can secure all the bolts from both sides and so that she can install the lights properly and make sure the wire is accessible to wherever the daycare have their power supply. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> With all the construction done, the seam lines all need to be cleaned up and painted over, another reason why we keep the paintwork relatively childlike. This way there's no extensive airbrushing needed on the day, which is just as well as it looks like the rain was about to start coming in. One of the best moments for us is always seeing the client's reaction. Layla invited the rest of the team outside to take a look at the finished corner piece, and the children were going to be invited out once they'd finished their current activity. It seems like a double reward for us, not only getting paid for something we enjoy doing, but also to see something go to a good home and see the appreciation for something we've made for them. In front of the tree, we'd created a tree stump to cover one of the small vent pylons on top of the roof, and Layla and her team said they'd like a few more of these items dotted around the rooftop at a later date to help cover these pylons and to add to the rooftop theming. Much like a pantomime, where your first thought is that oh, this is for the kids, to then realise as you grow older, there's an equal amount, if not more, aimed at the adults. This is often the case here. The adults appreciate the work just as much as the children, and if not more. This is obviously a surprise for the kids, but the adults have been looking forward to having this created for the last couple of months. If this has inspired you to have something created, or perhaps you know someone that might like something made for their garden, their business or home, please feel free to share this video or get in contact with us. Remember, we're not only UK based, and we can create something for you if you're in Europe or all the way across the big blue, so by all means let us know. Perhaps even take a look through our videos at our other creations and see if something stirs your imagination. We'd like to thank Layla and her team at the Gardens Daycare and Nursery for coming to us with this project and would love to create something more for the Play School again. Please feel free to leave any comments below as they're always appreciated and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter and for more of our work visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.